Hello and welcome to IP Innovative Publication Private Limited Training and Support Series. In this video, we are going to learn about how to get your paper indexed in Google Scholar. If it is not yet indexed and it is published on any journal's website, how this particular paper can be added to the Google Scholar database. So it can be done from the side of authors also. For that, you just need to generate your account, Google Scholar account by just your name and your email ID. So let's see how it works. First of all, you need to just search the Google Scholar into any of your Chrome profile. Then you will be clicking on the first link that is scholar.google.com. Then here, as you can see, I can switch the accounts also. For example, I am logging by this uh, Bhavna Khatri. This is just a dummy session for showing you how to make an account on Google Scholar and also how to add papers on Google Scholar. Then you will go to my profile and you just need to fill the complete information. Like it is asking for your name. As I am Bhavna Khatri, I have written my full name. Now it is asking for my affiliations. What currently, uh, at what position and where you're working. For example, I am assistant professor in Delhi University. So I am here writing that I am assistant professor in Delhi University. Then it is asking for email for verification. If you have your institutional email ID, you simply fill your email ID and just verify your account. If you don't have, just leave it blank. Then it is asking for your area of interest. Now you need to add the area of your interest. For example, I am expert in biotechnology. So I am a biotechnologist. I'm just simply writing here my subject expertise. Then I also have knowledge and experience in plant tissue culture. So I am filling that also in my profile. Then if I have my homepage or any website, I can fill it here. Otherwise, you can simply leave it blank. Then you will be clicking on next. Once you will be clicking on next, it will be showing the articles that are related to the Bhavna Khatri and that is into the uh, into the database of Google Scholar. For example, this is one of my paper which I have published in 2020. So I'm just selecting this. Then again, I have one more paper, Road Traffic Accidents with Data Mining Techniques. I then searching that also. And also, if you're not getting your paper in this database, you can simply click on that and you just go to the next step. Later on, these papers, if these are not, these are not yours can be deleted easily. Now it is asking, can scholarly automatically find you new articles and change the existing articles, apply updates automatically. So you can uh, choose the information as per your convenience. Like uh, if you want any updates automatically or if you want any updates for review on email, then what if you want your profile to be pub to be visible publicly or if you want your private account also follow by email as it is giving you notifications and alerts at each and every stages so if any new article related to your research will be added it will notify you or else new citations to my articles you can choose this as per your convenience then that's it. Here, my Google Scholar profile has been created like this. Now, for example, this is not your paper. Later on, you have realized that this paper is not of yours. You can simply delete it from your profile. And if you want to add article, so you can add article manually by using this thing. Then you need to just write the title of the paper, authors, publication date, journal, volume, issue, page numbers, and publisher. Once you will be filling all the details and then and your article will be automatically added to this list of your Google Scholar profile. Also, here you can see that it also showing your citations, the H index, the I10 index. So in this manner, you can verify your email address, you can add your profile picture. Also, you can uh, add the list of articles which you have published by your name. So 
This is also one of the way to get your paper indexed into the Google Scholar. Simply, you just need to create your account on Google Scholar by your email ID. Then after adding at least one paper, you can add your rest of the articles manually to your profile. That's all in this video. Thank you for being a part of this session. For more upcoming videos, stay tuned with us. Thank you.